Hey everyone, Chris here from Roundtable Co-op. Having our first look at the new expansion for X4 Foundations, which is called X4 Timelines. This launched on the 21st of June by Egosoft. Thank you very much for the review key. And in X4 Timelines, it's according to this. It says, play self-contained game scenarios while experiencing an overarching story of mystery and galaxy-altering events. Timelines is recommended for new players after playing the basic tutorials. So, I've watched a few people play Timelines and it seems to be quite difficult compared to the tutorials. And I've been playing Export on and off for the last few years with the expansions. The last game I've been playing is the Kingdom's End expansion. Uh, so, I'm going to jump into Timelines not so playing these scenarios will unlock new ones within the timeline storyline as well as rewards for your wider x4 sandbox universe among them reimagined ships from x universe history systems points of interest and a new faction so looks pretty cool let's jump right in okay all right so the game start type is special You've never been averse to risky deals, but a fateful encounter not only changes your short-term plans, but shakes the foundations of your understanding of the universe and everyone in it. Entangled in a tale of intrigue and revelation, you will live many different lives and meet strange new allies and rivals. But will you uncover the truth behind it all? So I'm going to go Argon Mail and start. Hustling the border territories is a risky business. Sure, there are opportunities, but there's always some rancid chancer waiting to take you down. I've made and lost a fortune in credits. Twice now. But I'm on the way up again. Incoming ship. And this time, I'm going to stay there. I have to shake off these damn pirates. One down. Two down. Do. Looks like you're having a bad day. What the? You've, you've stopped time? Not quite. It's an impedance bubble. Kind of complicated to explain. But everything's stopped. Impedance bubble status green. Look, we don't have much time. You're basically stuffed. Flaming death the moment this bubble collapses. Impedance bubble status green. I can get you out, but you'll never have this life again. Everything will change, and I can't promise that you'll like all the changes, but you won't be dead. Impedance bubble unstable. Oh, this is useless. I've gotta go. Impedance bubble status red. I'm in, I'm in. Get me out of here. Bubble collapse imminent. Welcome to the facility. How do you feel? 
Uh, fine. Um, fine, I think. Don't push yourself. Take your time. I'm Lissa. This is Tamigtal and MD, uh, mission director. Oh, I'm Harper. Harper Donnell. Where am I? The facility. I think this one has a hearing problem. It is your honor to meet me, Argon Donnell. It is also a pleasure to have more company in the facility. What is this facility? Where are we? I mean, where is this facility? Where isn't really the issue. It's good you're sitting down. You're in the year 2042. What? Time travel? Not exactly. It's complicated. The high-ups know the details, but to be honest, I don't really get it myself. Tell him about the missions. I'm getting there. I have to do missions for you? Yes. I told you that your past life is now left behind. You will never go back. But you're here for a reason. The same reason as the rest of us. This is the mission hall, where we execute missions on behalf of the high-ups. Time travel missions? I think this one is damaged. He's not understanding the words you are saying. Do you understand the words we are saying? Become mission director. It is perfectly reasonable for an organic creature to be a little confused under these circumstances. Harper, the missions are not time travel, but they seem like time travel. Don't stretch your cognitive limits trying to grasp this just yet. We have all been brought here to undertake these missions for the high-ups, as Lissa puts it. And we don't get to leave the facility except on missions. I know it's not ideal, but it beats flaming death, right? We need to give this one a medical. Do you need medical assistance? Okay, okay. I get it. Great. Just relax and recover. Explore the facility. There's a room designated for you. Let me know when you're ready for your first mission. Yeah. Listen. Oh. Hi, Donnell. Have you come to start your first mission? Yes. Let's do this. I want to see what the big deal is about these missions. Great. Well, this is the mission interface. Hop in, and once connection is established, the mission director will be able to guide you through the next step. Okay. It's a modus interlink. Mission interface connection established. Glad to see you finally decided to earn your keep here. For the first mission, we'll take things easy. During the mission, you will be able to communicate with a copy of me that is uploaded into the mission with you. But it won't be direct live communication with the facility. A copy? Why? My intelligence is just too big and complicated. I've used the mission interface before, but it just glitches constantly. It's very annoying and leads to disappointing mission performance. It all just works more smoothly if we use simpler intelligences, such as yourself. No offense intended. Ready to go? Try not to vomit in my nice, clean mission interface. Okay, right, so we've got the Asteroid Dash, Impeded Extraction and Incursion of the False Pontifex. And attempt each notice at least once. Achieve a total rating of 3 within this graph. And the Fade is not yet unlocked. So continuous workloads under the stressful conditions of outer space can exert a considerable psychological stress on individual sentience. To mitigate this and enhance mental well-being, 
Fostering intersentient relationships through recreational activities is essential. One such activity is the popular Asteroid Dash, a competitive yet friendly space race through a challenging course of asteroids with powered vessels. Observation of non-pivotal sentience participating in such non-threatening scenarios provides invaluable insights into evolving space-time dynamics and is highly encouraged. The embodied sentient is eager to engage this ledger activity. By completing the race and retrieving the trophy, it aims to establish its competitive rank among its co-sentients, reinforcing social bonds and demonstrating its prowess in a friendly yet challenging environment. A sigma variance equal to or greater than star will collapse the quantum wave function favorably. An appropriated vessel with unusual livery design presumed in sector CEO's doubt. Finish the race faster to improve your rating. Okay. Let's do it a bash. in this year's Nebula Open Cup. Today's thrilling event is proudly brought to you by Swamp Fizz, the refreshing burst of energy to get you through your day. And would you look at that? It's shaping up to be a stellar day for racing. The racers are geared up and ready to unleash their ships along this high-speed course. Today we have a new racer, ready to take on the established giants here. Empty space. What the? How'd they get that such a big jump? Too fast here. We'll hit the asteroid. Oh, Jesus! Inertia! Oh, man. That's bad. Where is it? Do you it? think they're There's... hoping we didn't see that nudge? Yes. I was coming, was competitive with them, but not anymore. No, 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 no. Oh, that was horrible. Taken. I thought I was catching up. Oh, I missed it there. Nah, that's gonna be bad. That's gonna be bad. That's gonna be bad. Thank you. 
as the racers come around the station. Make sure you give them away. Come on, fuck it. Did I get it? Oh, I didn't get it. Again. Oh, I'm coming fifth. Oh, come back here, you bastard. No, 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 no. open up and show what their ships can do. What an exciting oh, yeah. race! between great racers. Okay, so I got a three star rating. Uh, so I came third, which is not too bad. Okay, okay. So we go back to the Nexus. Congratulations, you've completed your first mission. What did you think of the experience? It is somewhat profound, do you not think? That was great. It was fantastic. I can't believe this is actually possible. That's the spirit. This is just the kind of attitude we need from our recruits. Well, you're not a newbie anymore, Harper. The missions are the most fun there is to have around here, so do complete as many as possible. Our purpose here is not to have fun with Saegon. The creators of the facility did not trouble themselves for our entertainment. Argon Donald, we may not yet fully understand our true purpose here. However, mark my words, the work we do here is of universal significance. Yes, yes, Temek Doll. The main thing is that the missions are executed. You did well, Donald. At least you didn't vomit in my mission interface. I do not know why you insist on bringing up this matter repeatedly, Mission Director. It happened just one time. <laughs> okay, so we we'll just go back in. Okay. Now, impeded extraction. Near a recently reconnected stellar junction in Province Bois, a dense debris field within a Lagrange point has been discovered, presumably artificial and linked to the progenitors of autogenic presentience, designated VN terraformers or Xenon. An approaching vessel's propulsion system was intentionally disabled by a utility fog composed of an unknown type of nano assembler. This deviating event sequence risks immutable timeline vector decoherence, the volatile nature of the utility fog, and the potential technological relics could significantly alter assemblies latent. A comprehensive re-evaluation is required to ensure predictive coherence. The embodied sentient will lead a search and recovery operation in the debris field at the Lagrange point to extract the presumed technological relics. Precautions against the utility fog have been implemented, but heightened activity from both the autogenic presentience and the paranid 
indicates a keen interest in the debris, suggesting imminent confrontations. A, sig a sigma variance equal to or greater than one star will collapse the quantum wave function favorably. Okay, let's give it a bash. Follow the ARG IDES Vanguard. Now. Transporters are undocking. Eclipse Vanguard. Which one's? Uh, oh, this Protect one. Protect them while they deliver materials to the auxiliary ship. Control space, that's right. Flight assist, okay. we want that on. Okay. We're protecting this dude. Okay, flight, yes, that's what I'm doing. Miscellaneous section of the general control settings, okay? Holy Order Fleet is detected in the vicinity. Be careful. They may be interested in our operation. Ah! Jeepers. I don't want to smash him. Man, this frame rate is not good in that, in that, whatever that nebula or whatever it is, sun. Transporters are entering the cloud. Stay near them. Sensors indicate um, xenon activity. Okay. Prepare to be wiped out. Oh, damn. M. That's the enemy. Oh, God. Oh, damn. I want to intercept? I think I do. One. Oh man, it's frame rate when it's around here is terrible. Bad. Awaiting orders. Come on, gonna get there. Tickled. Now I'm gonna go after our main dudes, wherever they are. No, I'm gonna go after this guy. Oh, there's more. God oh, damn. Now, where's that mission critical craft? Where is it? These two dudes we need to take care of. That wasn't your best. Okay. Awaiting orders. Let's go. How far away? 11. Oh, come on.
god, I'm gonna die! Ouch. Did I get one star? Oh no, I didn't even get one star. Um. Ooh. All right, let's do it again. Okay, let's just check some settings first. Um, controls, so... Mm. Nope. Is this player? No. There's one bindings. Aim assist is on. Setting that's it down a bit. Um. <laughs> controls, general control, general controls. Ah, oh, here we go. <clears throat> so, uh, shift speed is max shift X. Sorry, match speed, shift X. Um, boost, it's tab, yes. Fire weapons. What about teammates? How do I get teammates to help? So shift A is the closest hostile. Next target is page down, previous, yes. Um, wing, attack my target. Yeah. Could that be? That could be cool. Hmm. Maybe I'll click button four. <clears throat> okay. Try that. Eyes bang. Protect them while they deliver materials to the auxiliary ship. Right, so we're gonna match their speed with shift X. Maybe I'll just stick with them and get our wingmen to just tackle the bad guys. Entering the cloud. Stay near them. Sensors indicate xenon activity. Holy Order fleet is detected in the vicinity. Be careful. They may be interested in our operation. Deep space. If I go shift E M. and then tell yeah. our dudes to hit that. I need a I need a um I need a shortcut button for like mission critical target. Let's 
a slow loop and see where they're at. Hides, Vanguard. Yeah, that's the one we need to protect. So if we just keep going this way, I'll do Shift X. Come on, you'll have to do better than that. <laughs> oh damn! Um. Oh god, oh god. Awaiting orders. Seen on spot M. Sure. Awaiting orders. Okay. They're absolutely smashing that. So let's sit with the old oh guard. There's new ones. Me. Engaging. Uh, so where's our mission critical? It's these guys. That's 80 kilometers away. Let's get out of here. Where's my wingman? Why aren't you coming and helping me? Striking. See that? You guys are getting smashed. Stop. Sure. Thank you. Preparing to die. Sure. Let's get me out of here a little bit. Something hit us. Oh, damn. Engaging. Awaiting orders. Seen on spotted. Sure. Striking. Get out of there, get out of there. Why are you guys shooting me? Protect me. Come on, let me do some better, at least one star rating. Yeah.
Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh, so there's no ships left in my wing. Ouch. Ooh, that was bad. Okay. Return to the Nexus then. Score required for next rating, 200. What is my score? So 200, 400, minus 600 because I died. Uh. All right, let's at least try the next one, the third one. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. They're both jacked in. Alright, I haven't done that one. And then incursion of the false pontifex. An ideological schism within the species identified as Paranut escalates into open conflict following the unexpected linkage of stellar junctions between opposing factions. Unprepared for such an event, each faction struggles to maintain control. To enhance understanding of predictive coherence concerning species with adaptive neuromorphology, such as Blah, it is imperative to evaluate their adaptive strategies during intraspecies conflicts. The embodied sentient belonging to the warrior breed of Paranud must utilize its expertise in aggressive maneuver tactics and precision strikes to counteract the opposing faction effectively. Failure to neutralize this threat is unacceptable as it could pre precipitate the collapse of the societal construct identified as Holy Order of the Pontifex. So score rating for next, so score required for next rating is 80. Okay. Let's see if we can at least get one star on this one. Be prepared for combat encounters. Just detected. Pegasus Vanguard. Uh, Pegasus Vanguard. Uh, what do we do? Assuming we want to go and attack them. How about doing it by myself, though? Pegasus Vanguard. Hmm. Oh, you've only got 10 minutes to do it. Shite. Let's go then. Oh. All right, that's been easy. And the firepower on this is way better than the last mission. Oops. Sorry.
detected. Perseus. Where I got him. Okay, let's see how many I got, if any. Oh yeah, two stars. <clears throat> Accuracy rating is terrible. Destroyed three scouts, three fighters. Nice. Uh, return to the notice. Now, why can't I have that firepower in the other game? Far out. Be prepared for combat encounters. Oh, really? I have to do it again? Oh. Tag assist. Vanguard. Oh, okay. Can I get back to... It was... Yeah. Uh, turn to the Nexus. Right. Where's the lady? No. Are you there? Can I talk to you? Sir. Nope. Sir. Hello, Argandano. Have you undertaken your first mission yet? I have. I can't believe we're time travelers. Indeed. We are truly agents of a powerful and mysterious force. Ah, uh, you must be wondering about this place. This place is beyond explanation. The truth is unclear, but we are somewhere very special, and our missions are of great consequence. Who are these high ups? Who controls this place? The mission director is their emissary. Lissa and I have not seen them ourselves. We do not even know what they are, but they undoubtedly possess great power. We are honored to have been chosen by them. What else can you tell me? What do I need to know? Experience the missions. They will enlighten you as to your true purpose in life from this point on. I'm just getting my bearings. I'll talk to you later. This is quite understandable, Argon Donald. Yeah. We can't talk to her, she's busy. Let's go in. <sighs> so I've got enough to do the fade. Oh my gosh. Identified as Tharka the Explorer, a sentient specimen of the species catalogued as Split is actively pushing, pushing the boundaries of its patrilineage's realm through colonization efforts. However, its aggressive border expansion policy occasionally encounters unforeseen challenges. Potential risks of timeline vector decoherence due to Tharka's expansionist behavior have been identified. <clears throat> While the current event sequence is not as not at immediate risk of decoherence, maintaining future predictive coherence requires thorough examination. The nature of this event sequence necessitates rapid instanta instanta instantiations. The embodied sentient, a combat veteran of the species Split, is tasked with protecting her patriarch's colonial vessel by any mean necessary means. The sentient will be re instantiated upon destruction. Survival of the colonial vessel is paramount to her own self-preservation. So I'm going to get 750 points. Jeepers. Let's hope we at least have some firepower. <clears throat> and with split colonies spread all over galaxy, our name, Tharka, shall echo for all eternity. Scouts returned with reports. Fleet heads onto new system to establish family holdings. 
Okay. No machine can prevent our way. Destroy engine to slow their advance. Oops. What am I doing? H. Oh dear. Okay. So we'll destroy these guys. So. Hmm. This seems like a nimble fighter. Let's see what. Oh my gosh, there's so many of them. So they seem like capital ships, and I seem like a little snub fighter. How does that fare? Alright, well, I think I'll get. Oh, God. I don't think. I'm getting 750 points in this one. Alright, I think I should stay by the big ship. Because I'm getting spanked by capital ships. And I feel like... Snub Fighters is my forte. Yeah, I want to go there. Let's go there. But I've got no bloody engine power. Got no wingmen either. Oh, God. Oh yeah, I'm dead. I think I'm one shot left. One shot till I die. Oh, we're getting spanked. Machine capital ship attacking colony ship. Okay. I'd love to help. Surely it's not just my little cap ship but I mean my little fighter versus these guys. I rammed him. Hey, I got one. Bloody hell. Fight glorious battle for family Tharka. Destroy Bay Dot Tether ships attacking engines. Machine capital ship engage travel drive. Engine lost. No, I don't want to talk.
I must have better firepower than this, surely. Oh no. No glory here. Run. Ooh, what they get? Oh, 706. My gosh. That's crazy. No, I'm playing terribly. I don't know how to play better in that in that particular scenario. Anyway, oh, still them. Okay. If I do a save, can I save. Unlearn's progress is automatically saved at the end of each notice. Okay. Ooh. Play open universe, right? Okay. Start menu. Interesting. Mm. Okay. Hmm. I'll have to look into more about how to play. My name's Chris from Round Table Co-op. That was my first look at X4 timelines as part of X4 Foundations. So it looks like you're traveling through time doing particular spot missions, uh, earning enough stars to then unlock kind of that boss battle and then looked like there was graph one and graph two of missions well, interesting i have to play some more form a popular opinion but so far it's, yeah as i said interesting it means you can just hop in and hop out of particular missions and if you're like me and not very good at combat give it a bash come back make do some learning in the maybe the, the, the base game look up some youtube videos now the racing one was cool. I think I've got the hang of it by the third lap, so I could probably do that again and probably come first. But yeah, interesting. Thanks for watching. I will have a review up on roundtablecop.com once I have played enough. And we'll see you next video.